everyone. So we just got back from Ingate Stone Saddery. Um, we went in there for just wormers, but didn't really work out we end up coming out with a big shopping bag yeah we're gonna hide these from my <laughs> husband so the first thing i got was a tickaboo light turnout rug for honey um just because she ripped the last one and i like these ones because they come in all different like cool yeah they're patterns. really jazzy and they go up to like little shetland sizes but i mean go down yeah <laughs> down to shetlands and, and up to the up, bigger ponies yeah. but really really nice and bright and colorful yeah no they're nice and they're not that expensive either yeah i think that one was about 47 so yeah, not, so too, not bad. too bad and then what else did we get do you want to share the famous oh ones? yeah these are a game changer so I always wear Le Chimode or Muck boots um, and at the end of the day, I suppose it's where I'm older really, or old, um, my legs hurt up and down the fields all day because you can imagine the amount of steps. That's a question men and ladies do. And I wear trainers all day, every day. But and then when it's winter and it's muddy, I and can't. Fee's and I always hate told, the heaviness of wellies. Fee's always told me about these Dunlop wellies. She's like, they're a game changer. You've got to get them. And I, was, I just used to actually take the mickey out of her when yeah. she had them on. But she just said to me in the tax shop, just try them on mum and let me know just what you trust, think. Trust the process. Oh, my God. They are like wearing a Nike trainer. They're they so are light. so light and snug. I feel like you could actually ride in them as well because they're they very are, thin to your foot. Like they're, they're not gorgeous. like bulky. Twelve, twelve pound fifty. What? Very cheap. What a bargain. So yeah, they definitely went in our basket. So, oh. <laughs> and then yeah, we, we got the some sponges because um, we just needed. Yeah, just one for the wash down, <laughs> one for the tack. We, we always lose our sponges because the dogs run off with them. <laughs> And then we got some socks because all our socks end up having holes in them. So yeah, these, these are the HKM sports socks. You can never have enough. Either. Brilliant value. What was they? Nine nine pound nine pound ninety five for free. And they wash lovely. And they're nice and fit. They're not like yeah. thin. I've got um <clears throat> quite a bit in this range. Um, I've got a few fleeces, and their fleeces. And they've just bought their summer range out, which is gorgeous. Really reasonable, their fleeces. And they're like fleece on the chest. And on the arms, they're quite silky. So you don't get all that hair and straw like, look, that like I've got now. Um, so, yeah, lovely, this make. Really, really nice. Um, the kind head collar. Yeah. Massimo's. Does it look like a head collar? Massimo's, what, two and a half? Yeah, I'd say he's coming up to three. Mm -hmm. um, so we're just doing some groundwork with him at the moment. We got this because he needs. He's not got much personal space. I think where he went out and he lived out, and then we brought it back in. And now he's got a little bit bigger and a little bit more, a little bit stronger. Yeah, and he's a little bit. He's a bit too loving. Yeah, he's very he's like, in your personal yeah. space. And I as much as we more. love that, sometimes he's we don't want him bit, stepping on yeah, your toes. Yeah, he's got to be that. safe, so he needs to learn just a little bit of respect. And these are just one of these little kind, kind ones. Um, and then we literally just picked up what we actually went in there for. Some wormers for all the ponies. Yeah, we do a worm count with ours. So um, we worm count them just to make sure of what they need. And we're not overworming, which is really important. And we got some panic here for the baby. So that will go because my little one is... We'll probably use this for Massimo as well, but the little, my little new one, Magic, is only 12 months. So that will go, um, he'll have for his weight, uh, 25 mil a day for five days in his okay. feed. Um, yeah, and that's it. So we'll get so back to you later. That's the end of the little haul. Um, I'm going to try Honey's rug on as well, and then I can show you how it fits and see how long she can keep it on for. I've locked this. Yeah. Locked us out of the car. Alarm's going. The dog's going. <laughs> the keys are on. Stay okay. Guys, it's all gone wrong. It's all gone. Pete, Pete, turn around. We just got. No, press the button to unlock the back door, get out the car, lock the door. Oh, it got stuck on my door. And, uh,. The dogs are barking. Yeah. Locked herself out the car. 
with the dogs in it and then the alarm keeps going off and our rescue dog doesn't like loud noises yeah, so it's not, well. not going very well <sighs> We're still locked out. Still locked car. out, but <laughs> come up to the field to catch the horses with a roll of tape. I mean, I don't even know what that's all about. I finally managed to get the car unlocked. What well, I didn't. I sat there to go all the way home to get the keys. But we're back. How cute is this rug? Oh, honey. So I'm going to try it on her. So, yeah. I realise I haven't even shown you my ponies, but this is Nebo. This is my little 148 jumping pony. And this is Jack. Jack. He is my little 148 old jumping pony. He's 23 now. And this is Honey. Hi. My little baby that rips every rug she owns. So let's give this one a go. Hi. Hi. <laughs> so I'm just going to try. This one on. Isn't that nice? Little stitch in. I did get her a 5'3. Um, her other side rug was 5'0, but she's had one of these little um, Tipidu shy rugs before, and I did get her the 5'3, so I'm hoping. So, this is like the one that she's holding. It's like the front of it. That little, little horses on it. It's quite cute, isn't it? I know, it's for you. It's a good stitch, yeah. Well, if it doesn't, we'll end up keeping it anyway, because I've got a problem of if something doesn't fit, I end up keeping it. So I've just got an ongoing thing that are too small or too big. I just find a home for them. She's like terrible like managing to get out of her rock. So she like this over time and stuff. So she probably could have done with a five foot. But I don't want it too tight on her. No. I think that's okay. She likes it. This is her new tickaboo just lightweight rug, just as the weather's getting better. She doesn't need as heavy as a rug. But no, it fits nicely. And I love the pattern on it. I like pattern colorful rugs because I can just see them and they're easier to find. They doesn't get lost. You can't get them confused with anyone else's rugs. So it's really easy when they've got a pattern on them. Trips to England each time just to buy you more and more rugs. Lot have just had their dinner, we've got all the pajamas on, ready for bed because it's going to be cold tonight. So I've rubbed them up. I've literally just hanged up their hay nuts because they're all on soaked hay because Jack's quite lammy prone and Nebo is very keen on gaining weight quickly so i just like to keep it under control hello say bye thanks for watching oh so we just <laughs>